Okay, so here's one last Green's theorem example that I think is fairly interesting. I've done a little bit of the uh, preliminary work just to get us started, keep the video from, from getting too long. Um, all I'm doing here is taking a line segment between two arbitrary points, parameterizing it, and I'm computing this integral. So I've gotten to this point, all right? Now, one of the things that you'll notice is that if you multiply everything out and you simplify, um, here you have t times x2 minus x1 times y2 minus y1. Here you have t times, well, those same two factors, right? So, so this part and this part, those are going to cancel. And you're going to end up with the integral from 0 to 1 of, so x1, y2 minus x1, y1, OK? minus y1 x2 minus y1 x1 dt. And then you notice there's some, some further cancellations. And you're just left with x1 y2 minus y1 x2, OK? Minus y1 x2, OK? And that's true for any line segment that you like, OK? Now, this is not quite Green's theorem yet, but there's a, there's a good kind of corollary to this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to consider an arbitrary polygon, OK? So here's my region, D. OK, with points, let's say x0, y0, x1, y1. So we I'm just labeling the vertices, right? x2, y2, x3, y3, x4, uh, y4 x5, y5, and finally, x6, y6. OK, so it's a hexagon. It's a very irregular hexagon, but it's a hexagon. And, and let's say I want to find the area of this thing. So this says, what's the area of D? OK, well, I know that it's the integral of 1. Right? But I know from Green's theorem that I could write that as 1 half times the integral over the boundary of D of x dy minus y dx. Right? And what's the boundary? If I want, say, the, the positively oriented boundary, right? Well, I'm going to start here, let's say, at the first point. We'll do C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, OK, C6. And oh, I guess it was not a hexagon. It's a heptagon. Yeah, seven sides, right? Because I started at 0. Um, C7, right? So it's seven sides. Uh, OK. Right? So the boundary of D is just the join of these seven curves, C1 plus C2 plus C3 plus C4 plus C5 plus C6 plus C7. Uh, and now maybe you can see where this is headed. I know what each of the integrals along each part is, because we just did the work. We did it for arbitrary pair of points. We said, oh yeah, the answer is this. OK. All right. So now we know that the area is, it's going to be, so with the first pair, it's going to be uh, x0, y1, minus x1, y0. And then I go on to the next one, x1, y2, minus x2, y1, and so on, down to the very last one, which is going to be x 6, y naught, minus y6, x naught, right? So 
you can now compute the area of, if you know the vertices, if you know all the vertices for an arbitrary polygon, um, you have a simple formula for computing the area. All you have to do is plug in the numbers, you've got your answer. Okay.